welcome to my compost bin. You notice I have newspaper on top, it helps keep some moisture over them, and also the worms will eat it too. Now there is a lot of things going on in the compost bin. Here you can see red wigglers, some little teeny springtail bugs. You can also see some of the food that I left them, from eggshells and a radish. Here is a sow bug from my compost bin. A sow bug is not an insect because it has more than six legs. It's actually a land living crustacean, similar to a shrimp. I picked up some of my compost friends and put them on a plate so it's easier to see. Here you can see both the red wiggler and also the white worms, those very small wiggling worms. If you look at the large worm, you can see the white lip right there on the end of its head. On the smaller worm, you can see the change in color from the red at the head to the yellow at the tail. On the lower worm, you can see the sort of the intestines where those dark dots get closer to the tail. And, oh, you may have missed it, but the worm on top just released a casting. Let's quickly rewind it. Keep your eye on the worm on the top. Did you notice that? Now let's look at some white worms. In this video, you can see a white worm riding the back of a red wiggler. The white worm's skin is so transparent, you can see their insides. Just like the white worms, the red wiggler's skin is also very thin. So even in this one, in the top worm, you can see their five hearts, that dark area that's close to its head. Here you can see the clitellum, or that band-aid area that's close to the head of the worm. This is where they release their eggs. Worm eggs are orange and can have two to five baby worms inside. The small worm in this video is actually wiggling by an egg. In this photo of a worm egg, you can see in the lower worm it's five hearts. You can actually see the babies moving inside the egg. This video, which was taken by a student, has a white worm, little springtail, and a red wiggler releasing a casting. 